One of the most requested videos on our channel in recent times, Google camera for Redmi Note 10. Let's first see how to install Gcam on the Redmi Note 10. Go to the description, you can find the Gcam and configuration links, download both, install the Gcam APK and open it. Now swipe down, go to settings, configs, save. Give any random name, uh, this is not important. Now go to the file manager, phone storage, now go to downloads folder. You can find that configuration file that you just downloaded. Now copy or move the file. Come back, go to Gcam, config 7, paste here. Now open Gcam again, double tap near the shutter button, choose this and tap restore, that's it. Just make sure HDR plus enhanced is enabled. Believe me, that results in beautiful pictures. This is an important setting to enable. By the way, this Gcam can also access the other two cameras. Uh, the indicator is not accurate, like 2x brings up the ultra wide camera instead of the macro camera and 0.6x opens up the macro camera. It's weird, but yeah, at least you're able to access all three cameras via Gcam. Trust me, it is still not possible to do that on many other phones. And needless to say, the 2 megapixel macro camera is bad, but using Gcam makes it okay-ish you definitely get much better results with Gcam, that's for sure. When it comes to the main camera, well, it's slightly complicated. Let me tell you right away, seven out of 10 times, the stock camera actually clicks more pleasing photos when the lighting is very good. Gcam favors accuracy more. As you can see, those red cars in the background look very flashy on the stock camera image. The greens are also oversaturated, but still, Honestly speaking, I would pick the stock camera image over the Gcam image here. I think you guys would too. However, there is a problem. Consistency. I think I spoke about this in my previous Gcam video as well. Uh, let's say on a scale of 0 to 100, Gcam scores an 80. Sometimes 75, sometimes 85. But Gcam always scores between 75 and 85. In that way, it's quite consistent. The stock camera on the other hand, it scores 80 plus many times, but also dips to a 50 or a 40 sometimes, which is to say Gcam is trustworthy. As in, you see something, if it's something you can capture only once, you better use Gcam. The probability of the picture coming out well is much higher. Because sometimes the stock camera goes overboard in saturation and exposure. Look at this ultra wide image. It's it's not just this phone, it happens with almost every other phone, especially under 20 or 25,000 rupees. The stock camera messes up somewhere or the other, and you won't even see it coming. Uh, you'll notice it a lot while taking close-up shots like this. Oversaturated and overexposed petals, uh, lack of details, Gcam gets super sharp results even when the subject is not very still. Under low light, it's a different story altogether. Probably like seven, eight out of 10 times, Google camera clicks the better picture. Way brighter and better detail levels and low light photos from the ultra wide camera obviously look way better when shot using Gcam. Basically, if the camera hardware is bad, then Gcam will definitely get much better results than stock cam. That's the logic. Because ultra wide cameras and macro cameras are generally low quality compared to main cameras. So if you want to click a macro or an ultra wide photo, definitely use Gcam. Also, the stock camera's night mode does not support ultra wide or macro camera. On Gcam, you can use any of the three cameras in night sight mode. That's a huge thing. Gcam captures better selfies too. The sky on the stock camera image is completely overexposed. The, the two-story building behind me is poorly exposed too. Uh, same here. Here are a couple of portrait selfies. And rear portraits. Redmi still doesn't support HDR while clicking portraits, so the sky in the background is completely overexposed. Here, both are pretty bad. Stock camera has messed up the shirt color and the background blur towards the left hand side is, uh, you know, it's completely messed up. While Gcam portrait is just very dark. Yeah, this is not the perfect Gcam port for your Redmi Note 10, but we tried several different versions and we found this particular one to be the best and the most stable so far. 
we'll keep looking for better versions from time to time and update the link in the description so do check back after like a month or so and check the description uh that's it for now thanks for watching see you in the next one bye and take care